What is going on Twintendo Nation? Hope you're having an awesome day as usual. And today I'm going to be talking about the big Pokemon announcement planned for December in Koro Koro. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, James, you crazy son of a bitch. You said Pokemon Z was going to be announced in November and I got it wrong. Like, it's fair enough. You know, I'm allowed a few of these things, but there was so much that literally supported that theory. We had Nintendo Direct on the 12th of November, then we had Koro Koro coming out on the 14th of November and then we had the head developer Jinichi Masuda of Pokemon, the head developer of Pokemon, he was on the Pokemon Get TV show which is the Sunday show and they normally reveal a lot of stuff on that show for new games and he's rarely on it so obviously you think it's a big announcement and there was nothing so you know I was allowed to speculate, I was allowed to make that video and it just never happened surprisingly but what you're thinking now is, well, why is there going to be a big announcement in December? In the Koro Koro issue that did come out this month in November, there was a little thing saying, big announcement next month for Pokemon. So that does hint that there's going to be something interesting and hopefully nothing about Pokemon Picross or whatever that crappy game is that was announced that nobody wanted. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be something about Pokemon Z, X and Y2. I honestly don't know what it's going to be called, but I know probably a lot of Pokertubers have talked about this already and I'm literally late to the scene because I was working all weekend pretty much. I had a shift like 11am to 12am, it was a nightmare. So I couldn't really make this video, but I'm sure that a lot of Pokertubers never mentioned this, that there is kind of a high chance that it won't be Pokemon Z and I'm going to be explaining to you why. So, the last Pokemon game to be announced in Koro Koro, like that's the first appearance you see of that game, was in 2008 with Pokemon Platinum. So that was the last time a Pokemon game was announced in Koro Koro. And that is seven years ago, and that's pretty crazy. And I don't see why that would change now. I think they probably, you know, stayed away from that. They kind of announced stuff on websites, on TV now, because most of the games were announced on Pokemon Get TV or Pokemon Sunday back in the day, I think it was called, on the, you know, the Sunday TV show in the morning. They'd normally announce the main game there sometimes, like Black and White, we had Heart Gold, Soul Silver, stuff like that. And I honestly don't see why they just randomly announce it in Koro Koro this time, but this does lead us to many, many suggestions and many speculations, I guess, of what could happen. So first of all, if it is going to be Pokemon Z, let's just say for the first time in seven years it is actually revealed in Koro Koro. That is an option. Secondly, because obviously it's been seven years since this actually happened when a Pokemon game was first revealed in Koro Koro, it's likely that we might get some gameplay beforehand or something like a title, working title or logo beforehand and then we get the details in Koro Koro. So it gets an announcement before the, whatever, the 14th of December I think it is that it normally comes out and then we get the leaks and then we get the official like scans and everything. And then, you know, the third option which nobody wants is that there's just no announcement again and the longer they don't announce the game, the more hyped and I think the more, not say worried the fans will be, but we'll be expecting a lot more because they obviously have the whole region, they have all the Pokemon, they have all the data from X and Y and normally the third games aren't really changed too much but if we look at Black and White 2 I think they kind of try to mix it up a bit because a lot of people are expecting Pokemon Grey so I'm thinking they are going to introduce some you know, game changing elements in this game I don't know what it is because obviously they could add anything, they really want to surprise us, kind of mix it up, they don't want it to be a boring formula. Personally, I still think they might add a few new Pokemon. I could do a theory on that if you guys want me to, let me know in the comment section below. That could be a question of the day. Do you want me to make a theory on whether there's going to be more Pokemon in Poke well, the sixth generation, I guess, or Pokemon X and Y2, Pokemon Z, because I kind of feel like there is. And there's also one Pokemon that's missing from like the Nordic mythology, which is basically what Xerneas, Yveltal, and Zygarde are based off. And there's one like animal that's missing that is kind of significant and I'm surprised it didn't make, so that could be coming in the next game. But I could make a theory on that if you want me to. That would kind of be a separate theory from the other Pokemon theory. But that's it, guys. That's literally what I talk about. So don't get your hopes up for next month because, like I said, they haven't announced a game in Koro Koro first for seven years but we could get an announcement beforehand so we'll have to wait and see guys but that is it hopefully you enjoyed this video I'm sorry for not uploading as much as I usually do like I said mega busy but I'm working on a video straight after this so hopefully the uploads will be a bit more you know quicker this time instead of literally every five days because it's not ideal and I do want to upload daily still but I'm not sure if that's going to happen at the moment with university and all that stuff blah 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 you don't want to hear that but uploads are coming guys and thank you for staying patient Hopefully you enjoyed them. So yeah, guys, this is it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next video. Take it easy, guys.